Hello friends. So today I'm going to go ahead and share with you a journey with anxiety. Most more often we feel sometimes anxious about situations and it's so powerful at times that it leads you into doing nothing. You feel like doing nothing and you feel so helpless at times. If you are struggling with such a situation, uh, I'd like to tell you that we can be brave and we can overcome this situation very easily. And of course, if you are alone and you don't have any help, let me tell you the first step that you are watching this video in itself is so great. And if you have come across this video, just treat it as a God gift and treat it as something that you have uh, come across and you are watching it because you want to help yourself. So there are a few things that I tried and it helped me. So you can try this also. Of course, let me also tell you, this is not any clinical advice. If you are uh, experiencing this more than 15 days, please, please visit uh, a doctor or a psychologist or just talk to any therapist. Uh, nowadays, you have a lot of numbers that you find, uh, self-help self num help numbers. I may recommend you the Live, Love, Love, Love Foundation. And if you Google it out, you'll find a lot of numbers there. And you can go ahead and find help. So, of course, find help if you're struggling with this for more than 15 days. But if you are just, you know, want to go ahead and try something on your own and if you've just been experiencing it for some days, uh, this is something that you can try. So, the first thing that we can do is just move your body you know at times you try to tend to lie down and not do anything or just sit at one place and just keep thinking so try to change that pattern try to change your environment that is the idea if you have more than one room in your house move to another room just take a walk if you have like i have a terrace at my home terrace i'm grateful for that so i, I take a stroll i take a walk there or just take a walk inside your room but just get up and move your body in some way that brings you to the present because all we need to do is we need to bring our mind to the present second thing try to consciously do something creative now when I, I, I know it doesn't feel like doing creative you don't feel like doing anything at that point what I mean by creativity is Maybe just go to the washroom and wash your face. Just have, a, have a, a glass of water. Or maybe make yourself a cup of coffee. Cook something if you have, you know, if you feel like or if you, if you can. You know, it's just the first step. Like they say, it's the first step that you take for any journey that you want to begin. Maybe a thousand miles, it just begins with the first step. So, you will not feel like it, but be brave. Take that step for yourself. Try to go to the kitchen and try to make yourself a cup of coffee. If you want to make yourself some noodles or something you know, that you can cook for yourself, go ahead and do that. That is creativity. If you don't feel like eating, go ahead and maybe you can go ahead and draw something. Just, just draw anything that you doesn't need to have it doesn't really have to be a meaningful something draw anything it can be using colors a sketch anything just just close your eyes and just try to move the pen and just see what you do so again you know it's just trying to move your body and trying to do something bringing the mind to the present the next thing that you can always do is if it's if possible and the time permits, go out in the sunlight. Sunlight has been proven to decrease the symptoms of depression or anxiety, the preliminary symptoms when we, when we can go ahead and always 
tackle it by ourselves sunlight is very useful so you can go ahead and sit in sunlight or you just walk in summer so of course we don't want to tan our skin but maybe you can just go out for for a few seconds and just come back that also helps or maybe you can look at the sunlight from inside your home outside outside your window that can also uh, the next step can be you can go ahead and you know try some meditation or a breathing technique it doesn't have to be too tough yeah you have to go ahead and just take a few deep breaths and breathe in and breathe out so doing that again will bring your mind to the present if you are able to or if you have been brave enough to do any one or two steps that i just told you you are at a place where you have brought a a percentage of your mind is in the present now what you can go ahead and do is that you can try and recall to yourself what are the things that you are grateful for there's a lot that we are grateful for. the 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 mere fact that you're listening to this video or watching this video again gives you the thankfulness that yes i have a healthy eyesight i have healthy ears I have a smartphone on which I am watching this. Watching this, I have an internet connection. So come ahead and do the basics that you are grateful for. What are the things? Because at times we don't even think of what we have. We keep on thinking of what we don't have. So try to bring your mind to something realistic. That this is what I have, and let's build from there. So at least handling the present situation. of any palpitation of any kind of uneasiness that you are feeling any kind of anxiety anxious uh, you know attacks or pangs that you are feeling uh, so make sure that you do these steps and these will help you thank you be brave